and welcome to the Polymer Update Daily News Shots. This is Neeraj Rawal from the Polymer Update Mumbai office. This news reel is sponsored by Universal Master Batch LLP, manufacturer of master batches of polyolefins, PVC, PET, pre-dispersed pigments, universal color concentrates and water-soluble pre-dispersed pigments. Crude oil prices gained on Wednesday. While WTI traded at $49.07, up 41 cents per barrel, Brent finished at 52.21, up 56 cents per barrel. Contrary to API reports of a rise in US inventories last week, the EIA reported a decline in inventories. This helped push higher prices of crude on Wednesday. Polymer update energy editors, however, continue to opine that based purely on demand and supply, crude prices will remain range-bound going forward. The speculative surge in rates, if any, would be mainly on account of geopolitical factors and not any sudden climate in demand. Our editors believe that with all the extra shale oil in the US, world markets are amply supplied. In fact, if OPEC fails to see production compliance within the group, we could see prices of crude decline sharply from current levels. Meanwhile, despite higher upstream crude values, open spec NAFTA prices on Wednesday slipped by US dollar 6 per metric ton to the US dollar 446 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Ethylene prices continued to quote lower in Asia on Wednesday. Ethylene prices were assessed at US dollars 1005 per metric ton CFR Southeast Asia levels and prices were at US dollars 1105 per metric ton CFR Northeast Asia levels bore down by US dollars 20 per metric ton from Tuesday's assess levels. Reports of sufficient product avails, poor buying interest and persistent weak downstream PE products and pricing trends for sellers of ethylene to reduce their prices across the Asian region. Propylene prices firm for the second successive day on Wednesday. Prices were at US dollars 850 per metric ton CFR channel levels, a sharp day on day gain of US dollars 25 per metric ton. Prices were assessed at US dollars 805 per metric ton FOB Korea levels, a rise of US dollars 10 per metric ton on the day. Prices gained mainly on account of improved buying sentiments and constrained regional product availability. Benzene prices, meanwhile, edged lower in Asia on Wednesday. Benzene prices were at US dollars 750 per metric ton FOB Korea levels, a fall of US dollars 5 per metric ton from Tuesday. Weaker upstream crude values and thin buying activity witnessed in the region together supported the price fall. On Wednesday, SN prices were assessed stable in Asia. Prices were at US dollars 1070 per metric ton FOB Korea levels and US dollars 1090 per metric ton CFR China levels, both unchanged from Tuesday's assess levels. In domestic markets, midweek PP, PE, and PBC prices were left unchanged by Reliance Industries Limited. MRPL rolled over PP prices with effect from May 18, 2017. In India today, LG Chem South Korea has offered its PVC resin. LS100E and LS100H grades at US dollars 940 per metric ton and US dollars 950 per metric ton respectively. These offers are for shipment in June 2017 on a CIF Nawashiva port basis. We at Polymer Update are thrilled to inform general activity is picking up on the Polymer Exchange platform with over 38,000 metric ton of material traded since mid of Feb 2017. The app is currently free but will become a pay tool very soon. Download it today and understand why the app makes buying and selling of polymers so very simple. If you have enjoyed watching this daily news video from Polymer Update and found it useful for your business, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the button below. Thank you.